What's up, guys, and welcome to the very first episode of the Rock as Modern Life podcast for the year 2021. Now, for those who are new here, what's poppin'? I'm Rocca. ASAP? Yes, sir. Rocca. Yes, sir. Future veterinarian, ex UAAP athlete, and dude who loves to talk about everything and nothing at the same time. Now, I started podcasting around June 2020, and since then, I've come out with a bunch of different episodes, everything ranging from fashion, food and bev, music, productivity, sports, relationships, lahat. You name it, I most probably did a podcast on it. So make sure to check those out if you haven't already. Now, for those who have stuck around since the beginning. In the beginning. Yeah. In, in, in the beginning. Firstly, I want to thank you all so much for your continued support. It really means the world to me and I'm super grateful. And secondly, you should probably reassess how you're spending your time because damn, those episodes would run long. Now, for 2021, I'm going to try out this new format wherein the RML show, my main show, will last about 40 to 60 minutes only. But that's because it's going to be more edited and definitely straight to the point. Meanwhile, my other show, the Homie Hump Day show, will be ad-free with minimal editing so that the conversation has a little bit more of an organic feel to it and sounds more natural. And I'll be posting the RML show every 30th of the month and the Homie Hump Day show every 15th of the month, or aka the Hump Day of the month. So I hope you guys can like and subscribe to all of my platforms so that you never miss an episode. Now let's get on to the very first Homie Hump Day of the year 2021 featuring Ryan Rosella. Was Gucci ma nuggets? And welcome to the Homie Hump Day show of the Rockest Modern Life podcast, where the episodes are fun, light, and filled with shits and giggles. These sods will be ad free with less editing to highlight the kagaguan of my friends and I. So if you got time to spare, let's get retarded in here. And we're live. What's up, Ryan? Why don't you hey, introduce yourself to everyone and tell them what your superpower would be if you were to have one? Uh, do, you, do, your, um, do your listeners have a name? Um, no, Lanaman. Well, Lanaman, you can give them a name if you want. I know. The uh, <laughs> si um, Tamad or uh, <laughs> Juan the, De La Cruz. The, <laughs> the Rockens. Morgan. The Rockens. Oh, the I, Rockens, I read that. So, welcome, Rockens, to the first episode of the Rockets Model Life podcast for 2021. Um, so, yeah, uh, back to the question What would your superpower be? Okay. So, hi, hi Rockens. Uh, my name is Ryan. Uh, I was Ro- Rockens' classmate in high school. I'm also yeah. his nephew. And I'm also a radio DJ um, and I host events. So, oh, and now, now I guess I'm like a, um, a content creator too. So, content yeah. creator. D- they don't want to use the word vlogger. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like when you, when you say vlogger, it's just like the, the vibe that like, this, this dude who talks about himself every day or this, yeah. this girl who does makeup every day, you know? That's true. Uh, and then like, I you know, like with a handheld. From... Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then my daily routine. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Yeah, I mean, and no, they're no, always like doing stuff with family, the bar. Oh, like dance challenge with my sister. Well, I'm gonna... <laughs> Dude, so true. I mean, yeah. no shame on the vloggers. They're, I mean, respect to them because that's some like a lot of work. Also, they put out right, like two to three right. videos a week. But yeah. yeah, your your content is definitely more curated. I'd like to say, and right. uh, you know, it's quality stuff. So anybody that's interested in anything PH pop culture which you may be since you're listening to this podcast why don't you check yeah. out <laughs> ryan rambles on youtube so yes yeah. uh superpower superpower let's hear it oh yeah superpower um you know if 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 you asked me in high school i would have said uh i would have said my mind, mind control because I, I i don't know I, I just wanted to like do um uh, what 
what if I wanted then? Like, you can just like um, go straight to, to the airport and get on a plane and do whatever. Because that was, that was my thinking in high school. It's and, very and I do, culling. I, I think also that you asked me this question in high school. I was thinking about it, Kanina. Really? So, I don't yeah, know. We yeah, were asking yeah, yeah. each other like a bunch of dumb questions. Anyway. Right, right. Anything and that popped into your head. Because <laughs> it was just like us in the back not listening to math class, right? <laughs> and, Facts, and, you know, maybe. Uh, honestly, that's what your podcast sounds like. I, I feel like that's why that's why I enjoy listening to it. It's like, uh, we're, like we're just chilling in, in the back of the classroom, man. Yeah, and th- that's the whole vibe I'm trying to give out, especially for this homie hump day. It's like, you know, just chilling with the homies and, uh, you know, learning like, because especially now in quarantine, you can't hang out with as many people as you'd right, want to. Right. So this is the best we got. <laughs> right. But now I think I, I'd say flight. Flight. All right. Yeah. W- well, why? Um, I think well, I think the easy answer is teleportation, right? Like you can mm-hmm. just visit any country, um, uh, like steal money from the bank if you want. Yeah. But, but I think flight, because like, you can enjoy the actual power of flight. When when things are instantaneous, it's it's hard to enjoy stuff. Like, have you seen the movie Jumper? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Great right. Movie. Like, With like, Anakin. like, yeah. Right. <laughs> Anakin, I think that was that. That's the best teleportation no, that, that, movie. That, that, yeah. And yeah. yes, and and it's proof that uh, Anakin can act. Hayden yeah. Christ- yeah. Hayden yeah. Christensen's a Hayden great Christensen. actor. There we go. Yeah. That's his name. But yeah, um, I, I get your point. Like when you're flying, you know, you can really enjoy the view, you know, and go right. all. I like the view. And, you know, the wind in your face. Mm-hmm. You know, get that like fresh breeze hair. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. But yeah, actually, that that would be my answer also. But um, right. I'm yeah, I'm gonna have to go with time and space. And mm. the reason behind that is number one, it's probably one of the more cheese superpowers that you can get. So it's like you know, teleport and like teleport through time. Right, so, right. So like like Hiro Hiro Nakamura from Heroes. yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. So pause time, go back in time, go go forward. I, w- I wouldn't really want to fuck with forward so much. That probably right, would be right. the the attribute I'd use last, least. But yeah, yeah I mean, my, my reasoning behind this is because I hate traffic. I'll get to explore the world, you know, go, all to, um, go to all of my bucket list destinations. And at right. the same time, with time, I can relive the dinosaur age. I mean... Scary, but since I can teleport, I don't think it's gonna be that. Bad, right, right, right. It's it's time travel plus teleportation. Yeah, exactly. Basically, right. Yeah, but so. I feel like that 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 comes with um if if you don't know how to control it, right, right like five in um, Umbrella Academy. Yeah, have you seen that. Yeah, yeah. Um, the, but if you can't control it, he ended up in in the future and he couldn't yeah. go back now. Yeah, kind of sketchy. It's like very powerful, but you 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 need to Ooh. have your shit together, and you know. I probably wouldn't do time so much. Like I wouldn't change anything in my personal life, but I would probably like watch some events, like maybe um, Hitler dying or um, <laughs> Marcos like being taken out like, of the fucking government. <laughs> dying in Hawaii, gonna yeah, dying in Hawaii. <laughs> so it's like two birds with one stone, but it's like you know you get to see Marco die, uh, Marcos die, and then, <laughs> Marco, die. Marco, dude, Marco, Marco Moliari, <laughs> fuck you, man, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I I love the Marco, but right, right, yeah, I mean you yeah, get to in, yeah. enjoy the my Hawaii seat mate, vibes. My seat mate. Seat my mate, seat mate. Yeah, <laughs> not that far off M to R, right? mm-hmm. <laughs> He'll help you with math. You help him with English. <laughs> English you know how it is. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, bro. Yeah, some yeah, good yeah. times, man. But <laughs> yeah, I mean, I that would definitely be my pick. But I would for like if I was like more real with like my current situation definitely talking to animals would be so sick not very right. effective during like war setting because i mean i mean it's it, it has its perks but not the most effective during war setting but it would mm, help dude, me like, out to it, it, imagine you you talk to gorillas and like you make them fight for you and stuff elephants like yeah. Aquaman, but on land i know but i mean but bro if if you're going up against thor who's like got thunder that's, and then that's you true, fuck that's true. <laughs> right so i mean it's right. it's yeah, it's more of for like my path, and it would be just uh, so dope that I could talk to my dogs. I mean, doesn't everybody right, want that? Right. Just right. like to be able to talk to your dogs. How I, many I th- dogs do you have, dude? Well, I only have one right mm-hmm. now. Uh, my my old buddy passed away like two years Oof. ago, but I do have a gecko. I don't know if you've seen Ooh. him from my post. He's, I have. Uh, I have. I have. Yeah, yeah. My leopard gecko Zuko. He's lit. Um, he's actually not very lit. He's super chill. <laughs> <laughs> like um. Much yeah. like Zuko. <laughs> Much like well, I don't know, man. He doesn't have the rage. He's like bitten mm. me like once, and it was not painful at all. <laughs> so like season three, Zuko. Yeah, like season like you know f- found this inner peace now. Mm. You know the dra- the dragon dance Zuko more right, of that vibe. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Fire Lord Zuko na. Fire Lord Zuko na zen na posha. 
Um, but yeah, like, why don't we get into the meat of the show? So, um, you know, you, I, I actually had no idea that you wanted to be like a DJ host or um, a content creator. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, was there a specific moment in your life that you decided that you wanted to be a radio DJ or host or like, I guess, content creator? Mm. Well, um, I, I think there's an answer for all three of those things. I think those th- those three are separate. Um, are separate Fine, let's hear stories. it. Oh, it's the first one, radio, right? Uh, I don't know, man. I, I, I don't think anyone um, kind of grows up and, say, and, and, and says like, oh, I want to be a radio DJ. Like That's such a specific thing to, <laughs> to want to be. True. Um, if, if you knew me in high school, uh, all I wanted to do was music, right? Mm-hmm. Like, I, th- I feel like that's what like you guys knew me as. Like, yeah. The, the, the dude who... Um, if there's like music class and then there's a group, you want to be group mates with him. Hell yeah, baby. Better pug, pug math, ten. pug science. It's time to make groups. Like, nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> Catch me at the last pick. Uh, me versus yeah. Ryan, last pick. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, yeah. And, and it's always the same uh, same, same group of people. You want yeah. last pick. Yeah, with Silavik. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, classic. Classic, uh, classic. But yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, so, so music was my whole thing, but I, I, I got to college. I actually, I tried out for like the music org and I think that's when I realized, like, I, I, I don't know. I just, I just wasn't good enough compared to everyone else, man. Like when you were in high school, I got, I thought nah, that I was one of the best or whatever, um, in high school. But then when I got to college, but, um, yeah, like I, I couldn't do it. So, um, I guess my love for music turned into, um, the radio. I, I I auditioned from from for the program, um, cause cause I cause I attended the talk. There's a talk, and um, she said that she was a radio DJ. She she was like she she did all these other things, and she was calm. Cause it was like during a calm thing, and um, so yeah. So I thought like if she could do it, then I could do it. So I auditioned, like just you know just for kicks to like yeah. But I I got in. And um, yeah, I, I just really enjoyed it. I, I, I did it so much. Um, I, you know, I just, I just wanted to be in the booth and, and mm-hmm. be around music and being, being around music being made. Yeah. So um, like, uh, I, I don't advise anyone do the, doing this if, if there are junior jocks who are listening or whatever, but I, I, used, to, I used to like cut class to, to, be, to be in the booth. Ooh, like, bad like, boy. <laughs> bad boy, Ryan. Right? <laughs> um, I, I I I maxed out a lot a lot of cuts for that, but I don't know. Like, I, for me for me that was my school, you know what I mean? Um, like I wanted to learn the things that that school school couldn't teach me, so I was there. Um, but yeah, I I you know, it was a lot of sacrifices then. To make yeah, and I'm sure bit, I'm sure it paid yeah. off in the end also. Like yeah. the experience you got there, it was more aligned with I guess um what industry you wanted to get into and if yeah. you're learning freaking how many philo- <laughs> philos do you guys have in Ateneo it's like five uh, or six like a cut lot. that every day but, but you, I feel like not philo philo it's something that I get to use um, okay. I think I think when 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 you speak to people especially um, what, what I'm doing now the the pandemic the quarantine version of my job you know obviously we can't go and play music right now mm-hmm um, it's it's doing artist interviews, and I feel like feeler really helps me um, like like kind of get to know the person better. If if, if I kind of if, if I'm trying to think about how they're thinking or what makes them tick, but I I can go back to stuff I learned. Yeah, that that's dope. So what what are these classes then that you would be cutting? That um, it was always Filipino. So Filipino. <laughs> <laughs> no, not not because I, I I didn't like Filipino class. It was actually a fun class, but. Um, it's you know sakto lang that was the time that I had to be there so it yeah, was at twelve. Yeah. Actually, um, metro like side rail, but dude, your Filipino improves so much, man. In your yeah, video, yeah, yeah, you're yeah. speaking Thank Tagalog. You. I'm like, God <laughs> damn, wow, Thank grabe you, fluent na to, grabe. Because <laughs> I mean, for those of y'all who didn't know, Ryan and I, we were the English we're spokeners. Trash, we were we're the English so spokeners. <laughs> you got a seventy-five in Filipino high school, yeah, baby. <laughs> Show my rice on me. Uh, but you know, I, I, my thing was just that um, I, I always knew how to write in Filipino, no man. It was always mm. just the speaking stuff that uh, that really uh, that was really hard for me, especially reading. A lot of the words I like I couldn't pronounce it out loud. But if you read it, like I, I know what it means. I know what it means, especially yeah. the words we had to read. Box were super deep. Yeah, remember, yeah. Like so, like comprehension from, was good. 
Yeah, like, more... my lolly talaga. Yeah, to, oh like, my God. Yeah. <laughs> that was I think that, was that was the worst. I think we were the two worst in the... It was like a... It was like an oral test. You had to read one chapter in front of the whole class. Yeah, because, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, yeah. And we oh were the God. two, like, pinaka bottom. I, I, I just remember our tactic was not to ace the pronunciation. Just make your voice as loud as possible. <laughs> but lakas is always yeah, five yeah. points, baby. Yeah. You know, I'll take right? that five points every day. You're shouting even though you sound like a friggin' like, amboy. Like, oh. we'll take that five points any day. Lakas at ginhawa, right? Ginhawa, yeah. How you say it? Yeah, you know, with the feels. That's points already. That's half the question. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> and then zero zero. <laughs> oh man, some good times. Um but <laughs> yeah, I mean, so you you, you mentioned your like you, how you got into being a uh junior jock, but uh was there a particular event that made you want to be an unevent host or like okay, we could talk about the content creating after. Why not event host first? Like uh, how did that host? start? No. I actually don't know, but then um, well, I actually don't know why it's always radio DJs who who become event hosts. Like event companies just always get radio DJs. If that's the way it's always been, I don't know what you know. I don't know if there's a reason for that. I feel like it's um, I don't know. You, you want to be heard, right? If if even if the, the like it has to be that the dude in the back knows what you're saying, right? Mm-hmm. So you need to have a clear voice. I think that's where radio comes in. Yeah. So definitely. um. So yeah, it, it was just part of the training, like. I think. Oh, you know what? It was it was one of those classes also that I cut. Um, I, I, the, the reason the reason I cut one it of the was, many. Yeah, <laughs> the, the reason I cut it because uh, it was at twelve thirty, and then um, I I was at the station from nine to twelve. So it means then I wouldn't make it because I had to take the LRT uh, and the, the MRT going back. No MRT LRT jeep going back to Ateneo. Mm. So um, yeah. Uh, I was there. I, it was Boom Gonzalez's show. Um, mm. I think what what just happened is his partner, I think left. Yeah, his partner left. She, Joy Spring. Yeah, Joy Spring left, and then um, Boom was always just alone. And then so so he he, he got the like he got Junior Jocks to, to to sit in with him, and then it was just like whoever wanted to be there, and I wanted to be there so bad. So yeah, I mean it's uh, Boom, I mean, dude. Yeah. He's I one mean, of the I, mo- more iconic Filipino dude, voices. Exactly. You think about UAP, uh, mm-hmm. like when, when we were in grade school, he like he was the one calling the place now. He was the guy. He was the guy. The, it, well, honestly, he was the coolest guy. Like we all we all thought Boom Gonzalez was like, yeah. like, like cool. Student. Yeah, and he, the thing is he was actually knowledgeable about what he's saying. The mm-hmm. thing I hate the most is when you get freaking broadcasters for the UAP games and they have no idea what the hell they're talking about. Just because like right. they have a nice voice. Right. It happened with it happens a lot with football and baseball. Like baseball, it's like just because he scored a run, it's like, oh, look at that home run. And you're just like, oh, oh my god. Right. So cringy. <laughs> and then um there was this one UAAP finals where they just got like some British or Australian dude. And yeah. then just for the the sake of like it being a football match and having a Brit- <laughs> yes, as foreign dude, accent. There's always a and, foreign accent. And then dude, this guy didn't even know what the hell was going on. He was like there was like an offset. And he was like, "Oh, I don't understand why the why the play stopped." And it's just like, "Oh my god!" And then he, I think, I don't know. Don't don't quote me on this. I'm not entirely sure, but I think there's one portion where he was like, he even admitted, "Is like, oh, I mainly watch cricket. <laughs> Football's not really my sport." So it's like, "God damn, UAP." So far, but, oh, I get to go on baseball at the bar, and then near cricket. Yeah, <laughs> dude, it's like they they just got him for his accent. <laughs> but I mean, you know, like. It does, like that's the thing with the Philippines. Like the speaking voice is very important for you to be iconic. I mean, guys like Boom Gonzalez and um, and Mo Twista, the, their voices are just like you know. Once you hear it, you know that's them, and uh, hopefully you'll reach the, that level too. So I hope so, dude. Um, I mean, was there a particular moment? Fellow. Was there a particular moment in like working as a junior jock in Magic that um, you know, but that was the most memorable for you? Okay, can you repeat the question? Sorry, my, my camera just... Yeah, I know. I saw it. Don't yeah, worry yeah, about yeah. it. Oh, this is Homie Hum Day. We chill out here. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, was there a particular moment or event that was most memorable for you, like working for Magic 89.9 as a junior jock? Oof. As a junior jock? Um... Hmm. You know, 
Oh yeah, I, we got asked this question because because now we handle like all the new D, all the new DJs. We handle the junior jocks. Mm. So um, we had like a junior jock event, and the question was, "What was your favorite junior jock memory?" And mine was <laughs> all the other new DJs. They all said like, "Oh, you know, it was like training and like learning and stuff." And I was like, um, "It was when we got free tickets to Paradise IMF, and I saw Kanye West." <laughs> God, do it! You just gotta front be real row, with the people. Bro, Kanye, yeah, <laughs> front yeah. row. Yeah, even ah. front row, but then like the, the nearest. We could have been front row if we went early. Like we, VIP section. Yeah, 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 yeah. Damn, how was that like? Uh, that's honestly one of like the biggest regrets in concert like history. Like for you me, you didn't go to Paradise. I did you not go to. You didn't watch Kanye. You didn't watch Wiz Khalifa. No, I did not. Whoa. I know. I just wanted to jam out to Young Wild and Free so bad, but dude, I, yeah. I think at the time I was broke, so like I couldn't oh, afford okay. it. But dude, definitely one of the biggest regrets. I heard that concert was amazing. For me, like my the the biggest regrets was like con- missing out on Kanye. Um with us John Mayer when he first came here right right and yeah. and like I miss out on Anderson Pack. did you see Anderson Pack? <sighs> yeah bro I mean this man right oh. here dude this man right here he was legendary so okay, okay well we, we both missed out on a couple of people but you know definitely <laughs> memorable Um, what did you like most about the Kanye concert because I mean he's just a, such a he's fucking crazy but then uh, he's such a vibe also yeah. I, the reason people love Kanye so much, I think, is because is, is when, when when he makes music and when he performs, he's like a god, like a, like the whole Jesus thing. Mm-hmm. Like, like people are like pray, worshiping him and stuff, and it's yeah. so cool, man. It just like pulls you in. Yeah, and Sunday like, service. Yeah, have you, seen you those? feel like you want to join in and worship and stuff. Yeah, those are crazy. Dude, super Gospel crazy. Gospel Kanye. Yeah, and yeah, that's awesome about Kanye also because he's such a like different vibe, so like, uh, And I I could say the same thing about Anderson. So Anderson, he got them jazzy soul. beats, yeah, and yeah, he got yeah. soul. But then he also has like them trap, like bubbling. You know that song, like right. where it's like, dude, he literally asked everybody, like in the center, to make some space because we're gonna have a fucking mosh pit. And while he was playing bubbling, and it was the first time oh, I've ever been like in a mosh pit. So it's like he made the space, and then like when the beat dropped, he told everybody to fucking go crazy, and then people were just pushing each other around. You know, not for children, Wild, but dude. damn, yeah, it was yeah, crazy. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I think I think that's because he was a drummer first. Yeah, so he was a drummer was, for like a gospel was, band, I think. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. like he was a stu- he was like a studio drummer. Like, uh, like people would get him to session for albums and stuff as a drummer before he did all the all the singing and stuff. So, um, his foundation's really the beat and like you know getting people like hyped. Yeah, and it's just so crazy how he can rap while drumming. Yes, like yes, I don't understand. I mean, technically, it's like you're creating the beat, so it's like your flow. You have full control over the flow, but just yeah. it's just like you know you're 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 speaking a different pace than what you're playing. Yeah. So I just find yeah. it so like crazy, dude. But yeah, I, I think that's because he used a drummer first. I feel like a singer who learns drums can't do that. Yeah. Because for him, the 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 beats within him now, it's just like some, it's just some. Um, it's like his heartbeat. What, yeah. Like a, what, do, what do you call it? What, what do you reflect? It's like it's like a reflex, lang. Yeah. Right. It's something. It's just like driving for us. It's something you do mm-hmm. without thinking now. So you can just rap over it. That's that's insane, man. I mean, his, yeah. his concert was amazing. And he came up pretty late, actually. I think um, he first worked with Dre when he was like 28 or 30. So it's like, he's actually quite old. <laughs> he's like almost 40. And yeah, do you follow him on Instagram? Yeah. Quality content, <laughs> man. Quality like content. With the sun and he like yeah. dances and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's so good. Him and Snoop Dogg are, for me, the best rappers with... Instagram content. Do you follow Snoop Dogg? I don't. I, th- I should. I should. Dude, you, you should. should. It's funny because he gives no shit. He'll post memes most of the time. <laughs> M- majority of his posts are memes. Like, I think one in every five of his posts are with his face and the rest are just memes. <laughs> just like random TikToks or random memes that he found on Facebook. But yeah, um, we, we can all agree that Anderson and Kanye are the man's and uh, yeah, so going back to I guess your career path in uh, as a VJ. So over the quarantine, obviously you had to adjust to yeah. you know, the new times or the new normal, as overused right, as right. that term is. Um, <laughs> but it's, it's the perfect term. So it I, is. It really is because I mean it's going to be like this for the next couple of years. So yeah. it is the right uh, the right <clears throat> the right term to use. But you know. When what was it like to switch into your content creating on YouTube with your whole Ryan Rambles thing from you know just being a VJ? Mm. Uh, like what what started it? 
I'm, I'm actually a DJ, by the way. DJ Moon. DJ, DJ. Yeah. So VJ's wait, wh- like VJ's mom makes like video. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I'm DJ. I, I think it's because be, like, you know people think when they hear DJ. Yeah, it's like they the, imagine like the, the or like Alesso. The like this. Oh wow! Type of DJ, right? <laughs> you right? just have that on your side. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. But uh, well, well, we, we kind of do it too, man. Like when yeah. when when we play songs, uh. You you have to make sure that the next one matches the, the mm-hmm. one before. Yeah, yeah, and and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, how was the transition like for you, like from being a content creator from a DJ? It was it was hard, of course. I'm I'm lucky lang na I, I took film in college, so um, I knew how to shoot stuff, like what what lighting works. I had a microphone that I've had since um, since I was like 16, 15, oh, wow. 16. Yeah, like I got in high school, but like all, all the all the demos I cut with the with the band <laughs> for the <laughs> Ryan Rosella like... covers. <laughs> uh, yeah, dude, <laughs> or I cover stuff like um, uh... Harana, <laughs> <laughs> the classic yeah, Ateneo High yeah. School song. Yeah, but then when, when you were in high school, like the, you might also my We the Kings. Oh check yeah, yes, check Juliet. yes, Juliet. Oh yeah, baby, I totally had oh, a check baby. yes, Juliet cover. Skyway and, Avenue. <laughs> um, and it was not, and Dakota, Dakota. Oh, by, uh, Rock, Rock to, to the, the Moon. moon. Yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> the sad, the sad boys. Oh, dude, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah like I, I was lucky to, uh, to be able to have all this knowledge in the mind, but it was so hard to figure out what like, what kind of content I wanted to make. Um, I don't know, like the the first video I made, I think. Uh, it was like a movie review. I well, my, my channel is up the mind for a while. Like the I, I made one video and it was pre quarantine. Yeah, yeah. And okay. I, I didn't plan on making it into a channel. I just wanted to post the one video. Sign okay. And it, it was about my trip to to Buscalan. I got a tattoo for Wang Od. Oh wow, so, sick. Yeah. yeah hey, yeah, nice. Yeah. Do, do you know what that means at all or nah? Yeah. This this means prayer. Okay, and then yeah. the other one. Is the signature, no? Yeah, this is a signature. It's yeah, signature. yeah, the three dots. Damn. How was it like? I heard it's really painful, actually. Uh, yeah. But... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, it, it, it's just the same amount of pain as, as a regular tat. I would say. Oh, but you would say. It's, it's, it's just that it's just that it's a lot longer. The the process takes a lot longer. So that's why it, it's it's more. Um, that's why it's more painful because it's the pain's longer. Yeah. Gets. Gets. Um. But yeah, but, but, wait, fuck. What were you talking about? Um, <laughs> 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 this is preview of homie hump day shit for you guys. And um, oh, I'm going to just go cheers, back to my... Cheers, I'm a, Yeah, cheers and long, cheers and long. And cheers, cheers, to, and cheers to, to all my, my guests, uh, my, my, my listeners. But yeah, um, one, one thing I wanted to ask you is uh, like, so you've been a DJ and, you know, you've... I know you used to sing before a little bit, but you know, mm-hmm. to be a DJ, you kind of need to have like a a clear and very audible voice. So, um, I saw that you all were also taking practice from a voice coach. So, yeah. what are some of the mes- measures or practices that you do to improve your speaking voice? Because I'm very interested in this. I'm a podcaster. I'm always trying right, to right. improve my voice as well. But yeah, so maybe I can pick up some tips from you. Yeah, you know, the, the reason. Uh, I, I sought out the vocal coach in the first place was when, when I got hired at Magic um, for, from doing the show once a week on like just on a Sunday from or for, for three hours or whatever to doing it five times a week you know, my, like my voice was starting to strain because I, I wasn't doing it right mm-hmm. so I, I sought out the vocal coach and then I started taking lessons they're, they're singing lessons to like a, but um, you know you keep doing them and then your, your voice just improves so so one thing you can do is just take care of your throat, man. Like, uh, try to avoid cold water. That, like, like, that's one thing. That I know, sucks. Dude, I love cold sucks. water. <laughs> I, yeah, I want to water. say, you know, warm God, water is an acquired taste. So when, like... <laughs> acquired taste. Yeah, eventually Analasa. you'll get there. Analasa. <laughs> Bearable. 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 So now like, you don't drink any cold water anymore. Um, I mean, I do sometimes. Like, let's say what you're drinking. You can't, like, drink warm... Like warm beer, bro. yeah, warm beer, pa- hard pass on that, or like the whiskey that you're drinking now. Yeah, no, you yeah. gotta put some ice in that. There's ice in this. That's why I'm I'm drinking from a like a tumbler. Mm-hmm. This is if you don't know this hack, dude. Like just drink your alcohol from a tumbler, dude. Yeah, put that's all what the ice in there. Actually, that's what I would do before. But then the problem was I had a condenser mic before, 
Mm-hmm. And every time I drink, you'd always hear that ice like, mm. and like you know, personal. I, I just trip on it, so <laughs> that's that's the reason why I stop. But yeah, wh- why does cold water affect your throat? Um, th- you know, that's a good that, that's a good question that I feel like we should Google. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. let's I'll let's just, Google I'll, this right now. I'll so we're gonna like... try out this whole share screen <laughs> thing that we're about to do. All right, so why does cold water affect? Oh, put that's not fucking typing. Oh, sorry, noob. Why does <laughs> cold water affect your throat? Good. Okay, why is drinking cold water bad for you? Or drinking water may worsen symptoms in people in achalasia, affect the food vibe. <laughs> um, drinking ice cold water can cause headaches. This doesn't answer my question. <laughs> God damn, the few times that Google messes up. Anyway, but yeah, just. If you if you if you like if if your voice is your main tool for creating content or consume mm-hmm. or making um you know your your income then cold water is bad for you yeah. according to Ryan Rosella and mm-hmm. his voice coach so Giorgio Acosta Giorgio Acosta <laughs> shout out to Giorgio yeah, Acosta shout out dude major, major shout out to coach dude, it Giorgio. seems like you guys have got some good chemistry on it seems like you're, you're like always having a good time I mean I know I know you only post the pictures but I don't know. Mm-hmm. He has such a nice and big energetic yeah, smile. He's always like nah, nah, thumbs up. Yeah. Like yeah, he, big he's smile. A fun, he's a fun dude. <laughs> <laughs> and and he, he he works with the best. That, that's why that's why I picked him. I you know, I literally googled vocal coach near me and I was in school at the time. I was in Ateneo. So it it, it pointed to him in Katipunan. And when I saw the website, the people that work with him, if do you know like Rap Salazar? Mm, yeah, yeah, I've heard of him. Yeah. Um I haven't well, really if, saw if, if you're my bench so mga if you want to binge some X Factor auditions, like he was there. He was like the Pinoy dude who was there. Mm. Um, I said on the X Factor. The yeah, one yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Well, I, I'm not sure which one actually. Baha Asia, one of the X Factor. But that big time, not not the X Factor. Yeah, yeah. PH. Yeah, and and we, we, like when we, when we were in high school, he was, he was like one of those like SoundCloud covers. If you mm. remember. Yeah, that, maybe that's why he's familiar. I think he's more familiar oh, from uh, the SoundCloud than anything else. Um, yeah. But what what was it like? Um, I guess learning from an actual coach and. Did he give you like exercises? Is, is he like a yeah. fitness coach? I mean, your your throat is like a muscle too, and mm-hmm. you know it's the physiologically the air is the fuel, and the the air is what turns into audio. So if you don't breathe efficiently, you won't speak efficiently either. Right, right. right? That yeah. that was that was one thing. Yeah, Bre- breathing is something I really I really I I really ask for help with, um, because when when you do radio, we have these things called time checks. Um, th- those are the mga, mga sponsors, right? Okay, so, yeah. The, like it's it's nine fifty five on the clock. That time check is brought to you by Jollibee, mm-hmm. or whatever. Yep. And yep. then sometimes they'd be so long, na uh, I-, I couldn't breathe, right? Yeah. Like like y- you have to fit them in between songs. So like what yeah, like fifteen, to twenty seconds. I mean, then it's like a paragraph, bro. Like, it's like <laughs> and you have to say the whole thing. You start getting so, nauseous means, now, like when you're yeah, by the yeah, end. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or I go like. Um, Blah, 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 blah. <gasps> and then it'll sound so bad. <laughs> <laughs> so, so w- what technique do you do to, uh, I guess, like Breathe. maximize and do it efficient, efficiently, efficiently? Uh, uh, I'm, I'm not a very good teacher, but I'll, I'll try to explain it. So, yeah, just w- in a nutshell, say, when you, um, when you finish a word, it's it's usually a consonant, right? Mm-hmm. Um, so let's say like combat. So w- when you when you a switch to a vowel. So let's say the ne- the next word is combat armor, right? Mm-hmm. Combat armor. It's an A. You can inhale. Ah. Yeah. Combat, combat armor. Combat yeah. armor. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Combat armor. Ar- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. I'm gonna take uh, that down right now on my notes. But yeah, yeah cause based on like my baseline research on like you know how to speak efficiently you know i think we've all been there like searching how to speak in a manlier voice or all of that stuff <laughs> diaphragm. Uh, that, that, diaphragm that's all diaphragm bro. that's all diaphragm you know, it comes from the stomach so like i think you know you need to maximize your breathing in order to speak efficiently and you know have a more full sounding voice or you know, get some dope equipment like this Samsung QTU. We are not sponsored by Sam Q- Samsung QTU, but we are both rocking Samsung microphones. Samsung, what the Samsung what Q? Q to you. Q to you. It's like cool. Q to you. <laughs> mm, okay. What, what is yours? C O one U Pro. Damn, they gotta come up with better Bang. names though. Right, like, hey. 
I want to hear like the Samson rocket. <laughs> the rocket, right? <laughs> the, or the Samson uh, screech. Okay, no, screech is not the best word for a microphone. But yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, Samson okay. represent. We are not sponsored by Samson, but if Samson wants to sponsor us, we are more than welcome. <laughs> go lang, go lang. The, dude, the mic I used to have from from high school, but it lasted me nine years. It was yeah, Samsung. I mean, from so, from high school, now. Nah. I mean, that was a yeah. long time ago, so, and it was Samson as well. Samson. Yeah, and, and it still works. I just felt like it was time to upgrade. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, nine years yeah. is a long time. So staying loyal to the Samson fan. You should just yeah. get a tattoo, Samson. Samson. One <laughs> odd, <laughs> and then Samson. <laughs> Samson in one hand, one one uh, arm, and then Delilah in the other. <laughs> but yeah, dude, honestly, like your your voice sounds great. It's you're very audible, and the, I've actually tuned in one time you. throughout your Magic eighty nine point nine. And really, really. Yeah, yeah. One who was time. I with? Who was I? Was I was I by myself? You were with a girl. I just don't know who that girl was. And I know some of the people you work with, like Celeria Rams and um, mm-hmm. G Quals. I know them. Oh, no. So. R- Rhea is Rhea's monster. So it's oh, she's monster. Situation. Okay, okay. Well, yeah. Then GQ. GQ. Yeah. G- G- yeah. She, I, I, think, I don't know if it's announced yet, but she she, she actually, she, she moved back now to the States. So Yeah, yeah. She's been there yeah, for a so, while. So, so, so what yeah. Latin name? So she, she's yeah. not she's not magic anymore. But Oh, man. Well, yeah. you know, it was fun while it lasted. But yeah, yeah like even in the show, like, in your show and then your Ryan Rambles account on YouTube, dude, your Tagalog improved so much. Like you're so, it seems like you're so fluent now. Like what did you do to, did you actually practice or did you just like, um, wake up one day and you're fluent? <laughs> um, I, th- I think, I think like, like I said, Kanina, it was always just like the speaking part. I always knew like what to write. So I think, um, I always just wrote it first and then it's kind of like from there, um, practicing it, Bra- practicing what to say. I feel like if, if if I'm just like doing casual conversation, and you know what, like I think street, uh, street tagal, like street tagalog, I'm I'm fine with. Yeah, yeah. You know, like it's, it's throw it's, a little curse words in there. It's a little oh. puta, tang oh. gago, kain <laughs> kain, dude. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I swear, like oh, <laughs> oh, like, oh, 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 pre. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, so if, if it's like that, um. It's not hard, so I I always just just threw that in, and then mix with stuff that I'd write beforehand, and then just I just kept practicing that, and then, yeah, yeah, yeah. just progress from there. Um, and, so and, like, you know, I, and I think like in college then I had very like Tagalog friends then. Okay, so you learned a lot from them as well. Yeah. Um, so when you're doing your like your Ryan Rambles videos, are you reading out of like some kind of prompter, like I mean, aka your laptop, mm-hmm. and. Yeah, are, are you doing that? And how do you, do you like read it word for word or do you make it like bullets and then you kind of just make bola on the side also? Mm, um, what, what I what I used to do, I used to have, um, I, I used to put my, my phone on like a, panuba. So I, I, I made a low budget because, you know, yeah. it's, 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 it's a quarantine thing. I saw yeah, it in quarantine. from home, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so um, it was my mic. My mic didn't have a, my mic stand yet it was just like a um it was a mic that you can peel so and then and then it it, it comes to like three things so my like my built-in stand chart. basically it was mm-hmm. on a stand and then i put my phone against that and then like i would just read off it uses it, a prompter yeah but then uh, when i got a new mic i started using my phone put in i like bullet points but i just like maybe put it on my lap mm-hmm. and then like say something like a complete thing muna and then, um, like when I when I don't know what to say or I don't, I'm unsure, I stop, I go, I go back, and then I try to go back, back to the same spot I was Kanina. <laughs> so like you're <laughs> then, positioning also. It's like okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh, it's oh, like, oh, am oh, I aligned? Feel like <laughs> that's why I always just to try to uh, um, try to like, sit straight and then um, like back straight, but uh, it's always just that. So yeah, I was trying to go back there, and then um, and then everything just editing. I, I edit editing everything. Kalika. So it's so so. Hopefully you, you won't notice. Sometimes sometimes it's not that, but like, I, that's better I mean, than like trying to memorize something. Yeah, and it's like who's like, nitpicking like a, like a around, around here? Yeah, <laughs> that's true. That's true. But like, how different is it? Like you know, um, composing your outline and your your text for Ryan Rambles versus like when you were a DJ, because I mean you have you're also reading out of a prompter or a, a screen too when you're when you're being a DJ. So like, how how was like how is how different is it in a sense no, I, like 
Uh, actually, no, dude. Like the only thing we read is the the ads because that, that mm. like ads have to be word for word. Everything else is imagine just freestyle. Like okay. when you when you pick a song and then you have to talk it into the next song. You just say say whatever you want, honestly. As long as you <laughs> mention the sponsors, dude, you're yeah. good. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're good. You're good. All right. Yeah. That 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 sounds like easy enough. <laughs> mm-hmm. But I mean, you know, I'm it's, not. Dis- it, it's just what to say, right? You have yeah. to say something that's entertaining like substantial it, it, you're right yeah. substantial it could be a little funny like are you trying too hard to be funny right <laughs> it, it's, a, it's a lot of things okay honestly was it hard not to curse on you know live radio like did you have to like be conscious about that or you know exactly what type of shit you're saying because you might get cancelled or was that like something <laughs> that you know just like came natural to you that when it's game time you know you're you're in the zone Mm. I, I think the way we were trained helped a lot. Um, we were taught to value airtime so much. Like, to be able to read one one sponsorship on, on, let's say, Boom Show, it was a big deal, dude. Like, I had to, I had to train so much to learn the board first. So how do you train to, for that? Um, you, it's, so it's, like, it's, like on a, it's, on, it's on a Sunday when, when there's no DJ. And then there's, we have training sessions. So all the junior jocks come. And then a DJ teaches and he tells us how to segue songs or and then what songs to pick, stuff like that. And then and then after that, level two is like how to talk, how to talk while doing it. And then when you can do both of those things, you can you can board on the junior jock show that's on the on Sunday. Damn, that's that's pretty sick. So they they, they really like mm-hmm. test you on it. Is there like a rubric for testing? Yeah. Yeah, uh, I'm sure I'm sure there is, but I, I don't know what it is. Mm. <laughs> <It's a Santi. laughs> Well, and, yeah. you pass Santi's anyway. The, yeah, Sandy's the dude who's who's in charge. Um, yeah, he used to be my, he used to be like the head of the oh he still is he's the head of the junior jock program. Um, so he he was my boss as a junior jock, and now he's my boss again. <laughs> but I'm so, but I'm a DJ, I'm a DJ now. <laughs> yeah, you know you're legit long term baby. Mm. <laughs> That's awesome, man. And you know you're also doing the Ryan Rambles on the side, so you know more power to you. And I saw that like a lot of your recent videos have been on the MMF. MMFF that right, just right. that just happened a couple of weeks ago. Um, so I guess I want to start off with what's your favorite movie of the entire 2020 MMFF release? Uh, um, f- favorite? I want to say Fangirl, dude. Like I, I think it's the, well, I, I think it's the best movie in the MMFF. It like in terms best, of yeah, yeah I mean, inter- it won it won best picture. I think it's it, you know honestly it's one of the best movies I've seen um, in a while, like locally. Mm-hmm. I, yeah, I no. think. I think when when they have film classes in the future, like let's say in like like thirty years, I think this is this is gonna be a movie that they're gonna be required to watch. Yeah, and I, I understand why. You're the one that told me to watch it, and it was the yeah. only MMFF movie that I saw. And my God, it was yeah. Fucking... If, if if you had to see one this year, like you only had one, like this this is the movie to go see. Yeah, I mean, I don't regret it at all. It was actually very entertaining, and I was on the edge of my seat. Talos the entire right. movie. It was it was and crazy. Dude. It was fucking Paolo crazy, Avelino, man. Avelino, man, Paolo dude, Avelino, galang. one best actor, and he des- he des- honestly super dude, deserved it. He was really good. I loved how he could switch from his like you know his the. The, the, the portrayal, boy, of, yeah, the portrayal Paolo of the Poggy Boy uh, to like the fucking psycho. Yeah, it, was it just me or did he have like short hair at the start of the movie and then beginning in the middle of the movie mm-hmm. it was like that long I hair? Think, I think um, like they, they styled it in a way because they even in the dream sequences his hair was his hair found found was shorter. Yeah, it looked like his an hair, undercut. Uh. Yeah, yeah, it was it was an, he had an undercut. I think the whole time, but um, means that he just gelled like super like waxes or this puts pomade or whatever. So it's so it's it's all back and it's up. Dude, yeah, it was crazy, yeah. man. And he 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 like really portrayed like a fucking lunatic so well. Like yeah. my fa- my favorite scene was when uh what's her name? See Charlie Dizon jumped into the pool and he was like tank in a gago I don't know why. I don't know why that was my favorite scene. It was just like the way that he would make Mura tank in a sobrang lutong gago. It would be like so like fucking yeah. crisp, yeah. like tank in a. <laughs> yeah. Yes, dude, the teeth are like on that, right? Yeah. Like you could hear it there, and you could hear that he was serious. Like he yeah. really meant it. <laughs> dude, super galang. And also props to Charlie Dizon's acting. It was also phenomenal. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Super yeah. good. And considering she was major un- unknown, well, not you know, super unknown. Like she had like major teleserie, and then she was in Four Sisters in a Wedding, like as a as a, like a supporting cast. But this was her first main role. 
Mm-hmm. And she knocked it out of the park. She won Best Actress, dude. And she also dude. super deserved well, yeah. it. Yeah, well deserved. She was really good. Like, she really, I don't know. Is she actually young? Would you know? I think she's our age. Let's search. All right. Yeah. Jamie, going, or, Jamie or, Benson going to work. Or a year older than us. Dude, she really, like, played the high school role very well. Yeah, yeah 24 yeah, years. 96, 96. Yeah, a little bit older than me, at least. I don't know about you. Yeah, I think we're saying mate, 97. Yeah. 97, baby. Yeah. 97 kids. May, May, May 20, right? We, no, April. April. Ah. Hey, no, April 20. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 20. I thought, dude, I thought May was three. I thought May was four. Wank, maybe. wank for all of my homies. <laughs> April, 20, April 20. April <laughs> 20. What about you? When's your birthday? <laughs> July. July. July 8. July 8. It's, so it's like eight your number? I know, bro. Whenever. It's Kobe's number. <laughs> it's Kobe's number. You can't take it, man. The oh, Cobes. I, I, the Cobes. I'm sure Kobe right there, right there. Dude, same. Right here. From right 2K. Here. 2K21 oh. poster. Ah, well, I gave that to my brother because he's ah, okay. like the diehard Kobe fan. But Ooh, yeah. Okay. Super dope poster. And dude, like, yeah, Fangirl was actually fucking amazing. Like, I was at, I was at yeah. the edge of my seat the entire movie. The shots were phenomenal also. Like, I was yes, like, yes. wow. I'm like, wow. It's in- yeah, it also won Best Cinematography, dude. Dude, well deserved as well. Yeah. Actually, yeah. I think if anything, the Filipino cinemat- cinematography has been stepping up a lot. Because even in Henry right. Luna or what's the other uh Parang Army Goyo? film that Yeah, Goyo. Goyo that was that was super good. That's Paolo Evelino also, the right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was also great there. You know, Paolo Evelino's just like killing it right yeah, now. Yeah, there, there was a line in the movie. I don't know if you remember, like when 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 he caught her in the back of his but like, well, major spoiler, but not like not super spoiler. Yeah. It, it, the, but she, she was in the back of his car, right? So when 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 he caught her, but she says she goes like, "Oh, I'm your number one fan." Pinod pinod ko po yung goyo kahit three hours po yon. Di ako na tulog. Pinod ko pinod ko three times. So yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it was it was crazy. Actually, a super good movie, and uh, yeah, for me, I liked it overall, but. I didn't really like how they wrapped it up because I mean, although it was gangster, how she called the popo on you know her, um, I guess not Step stepdad, dad-ish. but like uh, yeah, the the, the like the cabit boyfriend. of um boyfriend of the mom. I mean, like, what was the point? Do you think that there was like a deeper meaning behind all of that in the end? Because like, I feel like there was no wrap up with Paolo or anything of her like maturing. My personal right, opinion, right. you know, I think. Um, the last thing you hear, it's like, it's like police sirens. So yeah. you know they're coming. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it would have been better, Sana, if they left the, the sirens out. So it's just like, um, you're left to wonder, oh, did she call the, I know, did she call Paolo, like, the cops on Paolo Yeah, Avellino? yeah that would have been it, better. But... Was it on the stepdad? Yeah. So you're left like, oh, but that would have been a perfect ending, a major cliffhanger. Yeah, a cliffhanger. Like a Christopher then... Nolan inception. Is it spinning? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Like the incept, yeah. But yeah, since they ca- she called the police, it's like, oh, what does that exactly mean? And mm-hmm. what happens to the whole thing with Paula Avellino? Like, does that just like go at the back seat? But yeah. you know, but, you know, the the version we got to MMFF, um, I think that's like the the edited version for 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 wide audiences. So I don't know if they're gonna release the director's cut soon. Hopefully they do. Um, they they release like the the Tonette Hadone cut. She's honestly one of the best director, best directors working today. What are other movies? Um, that thing called Dadhana, dude. She was like the fun chick flick director. You know? yeah, Do you see that thing called Dadhana? No, right? not yet, actually. Oh, dude. Watch it. All right, yeah. I'll give it a chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I actually haven't been watching a lot of the uh, MMFF FF movies and that's why I reached out to you because you were posting a lot about it and I wanted right. to get on that train because ever since I watched like Goyo and um, Henry Luna those were amazing films and um, right, right. the the what's the Manuel Quezon one Quezon's Game Quezon's Game that was yeah. good dude that was really good right, I enjoyed right, right. that a lot so you know Hopefully, I can learn a little bit more about the yeah. current movie scene. And thanks Dude, the, to the, the, Ryan the, the, studi- the studio that did that did Goyo and Henry Luna, they're called TBA. They did, and also, um, I'm Drunk, I Love You. Oh, shit. Um, yeah, that's good. Yeah, and, and, and other movies that, that are super good. So as long as it's TBA, I feel like you should watch it. I All feel right. like they only make good movies. Okay, okay. I'll take your word on that. And, and that's, that's where I did my internship also. So. <laughs> Dang it, I'm biased. But dude, bro, they made Goyo and no, yeah, Luna. Yeah, no, no, legit, legit. Oh, your webcam got disconnected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, you're back, you're back. 
All right, so we're going to move on to the next segment, which I like to call Rapid Ryan Questions. Ooh, okay, wait, so, I'll get my shot glass. Please. All right, all right, let's get it, let's get it. So while Ryan gets a shot glass, I'll explain to all of y'all what the premise of this game is. So basically, there's just 10 questions, and Ryan will have 10 seconds to answer it and make his pick. If he answers it within 10 seconds, then I take a shot. Then, if not, Ryan takes a shot because these will be some tough questions, and I've known Ryan for quite some time, so I know <laughs> I know what yeah, questions buddy. to ask him to keep him bottlenecked. Uh, but yeah, I finished my scotch already, so I'm moving on to soju anyong. And anyong. <laughs> what, what what flavor, bro? Uh, this is the blueberry. Mm. Yeah, I, I didn't choose it. I just found yeah. it downstairs. So uh, that's to, what it to, is. to be honest, but stay in the plane, okay lang. <laughs> <laughs> Why you you hate the plane? The plane's so bad, bro. I mean, the, I feel like the reason you, you drink soju is because it, it it tastes like a mixed drink, honestly, right? I don't know. But I like, drink it to get drunk. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. But the, the secondary like, yeah. reason you'd rather like yeah. not be tortured. I feel yeah. like the original one is the only one that tortures you. Yeah, that, that that's actually fair enough. It's the one with the most um what's the word they like to call it? Howe. Howe on the throat. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Ooh, howe, bro. Howe, uh, Tagalog. <laughs> Dude. Like UP, UP Oko, UPM. baby. Skull and buy a baby. Dude, you know, <laughs> that, that, that's something I I wanted to ask you. Because when when we were All in high right. school, we always talk about um, oh dude, we're we're going to Ateneo, man. Our dads went to Ateneo. It's like, where else can we go? The bar. Yeah. yeah. And, and then you you ended up in UP. Dude, I never yeah. got to ask. It was a it was a crazy sequence actually. I made the decision in like two weeks. So like my basically for all of my listeners that don't know, I like I come from a super true blue family. Pretty much like eighty to ninety percent of my entire Banzon clan. We're a lot. We're like twenty eight grandchildren. How does everyone went to Ateneo? Like ninety percent. But and and I was actually already set on going to Ateneo. Like I talked to the Ateneo coach, and you know I already got admitted to Ateneo. And then on my last game of UAAP, the coach of UP, uh, Coach Anthony Deezer, went up to me and he was like, "How would you like to play for UP? And uh, you'll get a full scholarship, and we'll give you some playing time in the team." So I was like, "Okay, that's a pretty good offer." And I don't know, like just I just thought about it and. I wanted to take medicine for sure. I wasn't sure at the time if I wanted. Right, right. To take... Like, dude, since since second year high school, you've always been saying that, like, you want you want to be a vet. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, like... so I was like, you know, this by being in sports science, that's like one foot in the door towards becoming a vet, and you know, that was like, it was just like a good opportunity for me. And like within two weeks, I had to make the decision because I had to commit whether to UP or Ateneo. And you know, I consulted my family, consulted my friends, and I was just like, screw it, let's do it, and. It was honestly one of the best decisions I've made in my life. You know, it really opened me into an entire world of that I that I didn't know because coming from Ateneo, coming living in Makati, I was really a sheltered kid, dude. And it kind of like instead of easing me into the real world, it kind of threw me in the trenches. Like I had to experience firsthand because like the way that I like to say it and a lot of my other friends that came from private schools as well, UP is kind of like a micro version of the Philippines. So you right, really right. see like a bunch of different people. Everyone from people walking around with bodyguards to people writing their notes on freaking newspaper or scratch paper that other people threw out. It's just crazy. And it puts you in a... It's, it's a it gives you this really good perspective on, you know, who you are and like, you know, where you are in the world and what the Philippines is. Right. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's, yeah, that's like little... I'm, I'm sure if you went to Atene, you, you'd do like the, the same things, right? Yeah, I'd sure, be, this, still I'd like be exactly carpool, the same. Carpool, you'd be like hanging out with the South kids. Yeah, JSEC, yeah, right? for sure, for sure. <laughs> and then like, you know, I wouldn't get to play ball because the Atene team right. was stacked. So I just felt like it was the best decision for me. And look at me. Now I'm in another UP, in UP <laughs> Los Baños and UP for life. Right. And how does that work now so, but you're you're there but you're you do it from home Muna? yeah i'm doing it from home first uh probably the earliest i'll get to go there is around uh, june uh july maybe july 2021 later this year okay uh, i'm excited though i love the campus it's beautiful i'm right i'm, an, right. I'm a nature I heard dude the air is crazy dude like dude, how yeah. fresh the air it's some, is it's, it's addicting <laughs> it's freaking oh. addicting <laughs> yeah dude like high quality province air. air is different Different air. I do, I just got back from Zambales. Yeah, and the air was crazy, dude. <laughs> it slaps different, man. All right. So, before getting carried away about all of these stuff, why don't we move on to 
the game, the rapid Ryan oh, question. Yeah, yeah, so uh, I'll I'll reiterate the rules. Ten seconds to answer. If you answer it within ten seconds, then I take a shot. If not, then you do. All right. So wait, wait. Can can I ban you, Muna, before? All right. So there. we'll be going on a quick bathroom break, and after the break, we'll be playing the rapid Ryan questions. Peace out. Right. And we're back. All right. So. In this segment, we'll be doing the Rapid Ryan questions. Again, I'll repeat the rules. 10 seconds to answer each question with a short description if you want, if it's within 10 seconds. And if you answer it within 10, then I'll take a shot. If you don't, then you take one. All right? Mm -hmm. Sounds easy enough. So I'll hold up a timer here so that the people watching the audio recording can see as well. And... Yeah, we'll just go ten, then um, zero to ten, then ten to twenty. You know that stuff. Okay, okay, okay. Well, I'll pause it on that also. All right. So okay, we'll start in three, two, and one. All right. So what is your favorite Filipino food? Sisig. In Orok, chicken and asal. Is that your final answer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. So one shot for me. Yeah. Or should we tally it on that? Nah, dude, one shot, one yeah, shot. One shot, one shot, for fun. Chicken in a salt, bro. Uh, my, why, my mom's why? from Bacolod, kasi. Uh, Ilongo. Ilmong Ilongo. Mm-hmm. Dude, that's that stuff's fire. Mm. Yeah, dude. Especially if it's done right, you know, in Bacolod. Yeah, yeah. N- if if you're ever it. there, Nenas is the best place. Nenas. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Nenas, Nenas. Rose. Yeah, I've tried that like like once or twice when I went there with my girlfriend's family. But that's is your family point. from Bacolod, ba? Um, they have relatives that are from mm. Bacolod. All right, okay. so back to the game. So ready in, we'll start. Uh, I'll ask a question. So the question is, pancit or spaghetti? Ready, three, two, one. Pan- Pinoy spaghetti, yeah? Pinoy spaghetti. Pinoy spaghetti. Yeah, right. I'm, I'm, aller- I'm allergic to MSG kasi, so I, I never eat pancit canton. Oh, that's tragic, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so. That's you know, tragic. It's, 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 like, sometimes I will, but then I, I feel like, like absolute shit after, but that means that it's worth it. What do you it. feel like after? I feel like I feel like I'm I'm super gonna vomit. I feel like you're super fucked up on alcohol, and then like you have alcohol Damn. poisoning. Basically, it's like that. That sucks, dude. Yeah, yeah. Plus it contains the shit. <laughs> well, okay. Here, cheers to my guests that are watching the video. <laughs> Hopefully, I don't get wrecked from this. All right. So the next question is. Oh shit! Here now. The next question is. Manila traffic or Manila pollution? Oh, Manila traffic or Manila pollution, bro. Five. Um, four, po- pollution gives you so much three, pimples. Eh. Two. Oh, one. No, I'm shot. I'm ah, shot. shot. Let's go. Thank you for saving me. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm gonna have to go with the pollution any day. Fuck this traffic, man. So inefficient, especially when like you know it's the normal times. It wastes so much time of your day. Uh, but the I, do, I was thinking I said like what if like Manila pollution forever or Ed's pollution forever like and you, I mean, like, or you know traffic how, you mean yeah 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 sorry Ed's traffic or Ed's pollution Ed's pollution forever like the, the oh, fucking yeah. smoke from all the cars is in your face all yeah. day every day I know no way yeah. baka ano lang ba, like about traffic na lang at least like minsan in your car it's like a GV if you're like with yeah, a brand that's true and then, you know <laughs> you, you like get to learn about podcasts but the thing yeah. is they go kind of hand in hand with this traffic there is pollution so right that's but, true yeah, yeah it's all hypothetical out here alright so the fourth question wait okay, wait let, let, let me pour a shot lang muna in case sige in case sige I'll do the same show, show the people okay yeah that, that's oh, yeah. some so, yeah. good evidence yeah alright so this is a real shot it's my Buddha shot. <laughs> oh, that's pretty Buddha, sick. Bro. Yeah, that looks like it's for sake or something. <laughs> All right. So, question number four. Who is your favorite YouTuber? Five. Chris Stockman. Chris four. Stockman. All right. All right. Do, do you know who Chris Stockman is? I don't. Who is he? He's a... He's... He's a movie reviewer. Yeah. So he reviews movies. But dude, his his latest video is super wild. Because apparently, like I, I didn't know. He used to be a he used to be a Jehovah's Witness. Oh wow. Like the that's like a religion ish cult. Yeah. Like right. <laughs> like you can't I, Sorry to I all think, the Jehovah's Witness people there. Dude, I, I have I no idea. It, I think it's a cult. Like based off the video <laughs> I watched. 
it was so crazy. Like all he wanted to do was make videos, and they kept stopping him from from doing that. Damn, that's so, crazy. He said that, like, yeah, he was like, he was, like drawing attention to himself or whatever. And he does movie reviews. Oh yeah, he mm. was just dude. Like, all he wanted to do with his life was was um was make movie reviews, and so, then, parang the, 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 there's they have more rules na if they they mark you, you're called you're marked. If you're marked, none of your friends can talk to you outside of church. What? Ganun. That's nuts. Yeah, dude. That's it's, yeah, are, and, are these like the type of people that like ah. Uh, they, they go door to door, you know. Yeah, yeah, then, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the people in Utah, or yeah, the, yeah. The, what, what's other? No, 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 no. no those you, are... Utah. They, they have Mormons. Mor- Mormons, not Mormons. It's, the, it's, it's not, not the same, same thing. thing. All right, all right. No, 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 no. I have no, I have no. I, I would say Mormon is that. an actual religion, dude. Like it's actual. So Jehovah's like, Witness is more of a cult, sense. Yeah, yeah. Like they have this other thing aside from being marked. Marked's like level. It's like a. It's like level one. Level two is. You're ba- you're like banished. I don't. I forgot what the word was. But when you're banished, no no one can talk to you. Like your if your dad's Jehovah's Witness, like he can't talk your to da- you. What? You, your whole family can't talk to you. Any of your friends. But that's like, nuts, like, bro. Basically, that's like nuts. You, you like you don't exist. Yeah, that's a straight up cult, man. There's no other yeah. way around it. <laughs> so, yeah, All right. Like, he Anyways, talked about it. Check yeah. out. Check check. I'll check, check him out. out. What's his name again? Um, Chris Tuckman. Chris Tuckman. All right, I'll take you up on that, and I'm gonna search him probably after this podcast. Uh, All right, so you, you shot shot the Chris Tuckman. All right, yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> You're making me drink so much, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> the Chris Tuckman, the Jehovah's uh, Witness. All right. So question number five, and the question is: event host or radio host? Ah, uh, shot, shot, shot. Shot the lang, shot the lang. All right, take that, take that uh, shot, take that I L, baby. Can't, dude. Uh, I'm sure they're both fun. I'm sure they're both really fun, and you get to meet a bunch of different people. But maybe there's like some secret contract of Magic eighty nine point nine that he can't say which one's his favorite. <laughs> <laughs> like host, it, it, they're they're both different trips, dude. Like hosting when like when everyone's watching you, you feel this adrenaline. Yeah, and then, with the and, limelight. And, yeah, dude. Like <laughs> you, you can't describe it. But but radio, I, I get to vibe out to the music. I, I do basically. I have an unlimited, demon unlimited. Like there's there's limits to the playlist, but it's such a wide. Um, it's such a Array. wide library, yeah. yeah. And I can make other people listen to it, dude. Yeah. Like whatever. I think like, it's like I feel you like are the to... master of the aux chord. <laughs> like I'm, I'm playing like Anderson Pack, Mac Miller, and then like the whole Philippines has to listen to it. If I want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's some good stuff. Yeah, well, as long as they, they choose our station, obviously. Yeah, obviously, obviously. obviously. Yeah. All right, so let's move on to the next question. Yeah. And the question is, what is your favorite Filipino movie of all time? Ah, Oro Plata Mata. Ooh, okay, that's a good. Have pick. you seen Oro Plata Mata? Yeah, I have, I have, but long time ago, so I actually don't super remember what no, went I, down. I think we probably watched it for school. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah. Is that the one in Marcos? Or no? Yes. Well, it the... it was it was made during the martial law era. Yeah. So it was kind of about the regime, but it wasn't like directly because mm-hmm. the, the the movie was set in World War Two or World War One, World War Two Ata, yeah. And then, um, like, like the different stuff happened, but you know, they tried to like parallel stuff that happened during yeah, martial yeah, yeah. Law. Like there were like side stories during martial law. I remember that actually. Yeah, yeah we we might have watched that for Filipino. I think like third year or something. I like got. Oh uh, yeah, but like it's I guess it's special for me because they shot the movie in our ancestral home in Bacolod. Oh wow! Dude, okay. So so I, I'm there. I'm in that place every every three years. We always have a reunion there. I have a tattoo here of a cartwheel because uh, there, there's a chapel made out of cartwheels in 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 there in, in the Hashan. Cartwheels. Yeah. Man, that's very interesting. Yeah, wow. but, but dude, like, there, there's one. Do, do you know the yeah, name no. by any chance? Of what? Let's, let's do some screen search. Screen search stuff. The 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 chapel or no? Oh yeah, sure. Like chapel of cartwheels, Manapla. Okay, chapel of cartwheels. Oh there, there Manapla. There, there, there. Oh wow! Yeah, 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 yeah. Damn, that's pretty sick. So it's like the entire um, ground floor is like made out of cartwheels. Very interesting. Yeah. And it turned into a chapel. So, yeah. Is that like from your family that that did that or not? Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like my like my my. Wait, I can do this. My great <laughs> great. Wait, 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 wait now. Great. Great great grandfather's brother. 
Wow. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some yeah. historic lineage right here. Yeah. If, uh, like, they, they, they cut it out of the movie. But so there's a scene where um, where they have like the main characters are having sex in a in a shoe house. It's like a it's like a tree house, but it's like a sh- made into like a shoe. And then I saw the movie and I was like, what the fuck? Like <laughs> when I was a kid, we used to like hang out there and like like all the kids would like run around and shit. <laughs> People had sex in this movie. Oh, what the fuck? In the place. In the, yeah, in the, the, yeah. in the place. Damn, in the shoe. Be, in the shoe house. That must be so whack. <laughs> it was like, so whack, dude. It's like childhood destroyed. And, 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 and my Tito was there. I don't I don't remember um if 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 you remember. We had a conversation when you were in high school. I told you I had a Tito named Dwight, and you were like, yo, you have a Tito named Dwight? That's such a cool like Dwight name. Howard? <laughs> His name is my, my Tito Dwight, Dwight Gaston. He's a okay. he's like an actor. Um, like he's in a lot of telesegas now, but back then he was in Ora Plata Mata, and bro, he was fucking naked. Like, like I saw him naked. The, yeah, he, he was his, running he across. You know, he was running into a stream, into the, <laughs> into a river, and I saw his dick going up and down, <laughs> balls going left to right. Bro, it's my Tito Dude. Dwight. It's my <laughs> brother. Oh my Demon god! Like mom's brother, like Lola's brother. <laughs> Tito Dwight look different than your eyes now. <laughs> Tito Dwight, talaga, it was a guerrilla. Not oh my right. god! It was a guerrilla. I-, I gotta watch that movie again, man. It seems like a trip. All right, so we'll move on to the next question. Question number seven. All right, and the question is, what's the one thing that you wish people knew more about you? And you have to say it in ten seconds. Ready, set, go. The one thing. Five, wow. four, three. Dude, that's like a, that's a deep question. One. That's like a all right. Like a, that's like a twenty questions with a girl you like question. <laughs> <laughs> Facts. You mga nasa ble nasa no but but Buzzfeed. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. All right, so take a shot and why don't you just like you know tell them tell the people what's one thing that you wish people knew more about you. It could be like very deep or it can be babos as fuck also something that you just do on the side. Mm. So yeah. C- can you answer the question also? All right, fair enough. Um, yeah, one sh- sh- thing. I'll take a shot, Muna. All right, okay. I'll take. I'll take it with you, bro. Mm. We turn it up in the homie hump day episode. <laughs> um, I guess one thing I wish, I I I wish people knew more about me is that you know I used to be scared of birds, and it's funny because I want to be a vet. So it's like, what the fuck, right? Like you're supposed to love animals, but. Right. I don't know. I had this weird. That's probably like one of my only phobias in life. I'm not really scared of heights. I'm not really scared of the dark. But birds, bruh. Before, like I don't know. Maybe I had like a traumatic experience that I don't really recall in my childhood. But right. yeah, I mean that's 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 my go-to answer. What about you? <laughs> What's it? so you wanna you want people to know that you used to be scared of birds? Yeah, because like you know character development. Now I can play ah. with birds. <laughs> mm. For me, maybe maybe the music stuff. Okay, yeah, because that was a big part of your life. Yeah, um, probably for you, because you, you knew me in high school. You probably still think of me as like as the music guy. Yeah, right? the, the dude that would bring a guitar to school. Yeah, like every day, every day. Yeah. Bro, yeah. When, when we had fair, all my clothes would be in a guitar case. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and that's I would change. <laughs> crazy, crazy. I still have guitar here in the month, but yeah. it's just for the aesthetic. But yeah, yeah. um. That that's who I was for the longest time, and then college, everyone knew me as the, the their batchmate on the radio. Like that was my, my whole thing, radio and hosting. Um, like people would call me Junior Jock, like instead of my actual name. <laughs> but yeah, I, I I really wish na 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 people people knew the music stuff, yeah. and but I feel like I also have to to do more of the music stuff. For, for yeah. that to be a thing yeah, put a little like, bit I put more out there yeah like really songs to laga. yeah or even covers man some JM covers yeah. and these next couple of questions next two questions rather would mm. be perfect segue for the game alright so the next question is Eraserheads or Parokia Ni Edgar Ooh. dude Eraser heads for sure, man. For sure, they're, for sure. Dude, they're in a whole, whole nother tier, man. Like, the, I don't, I don't know, I don't think any other Filipino band has ever or will ever reach the heights that the, the Eraser heads had. Yeah, and they were super ahead of their time, honestly. Like, I mean, they were yeah. releasing songs in the eighties, nineties, but if you listen to them today, you know they still slap hard. Ang huling el bimbo, with a smile, bro. Mm-mm. Every time, gets you dude, every time. I, 
I don't know. Like they found a way to to unite um to my to, to, to unite the people na na masa and the people na na yeah, much like abroad. well off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and dude, like they they, they really influence. captured the the whole market. Usually, because bands it's one or the other bands only have the yeah 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 yeah, yeah. like I but I think. I think like like let's say let's say Ben and Ben now. Wait, no, I'm just confused. Yeah, we lost your camera again. <laughs> mm, yeah. No, I think I think my camera died, dude. Wait, let me just oh. switch to my webcam now. Oh, that's tragic. All right, yeah, so yeah, yeah. we'll go on a quick break as Ryan fixes his technical difficulties. I know this is not very rapid, but yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, there we go. All right, <laughs> okay, no need to pause. Dude, it's not as cool, man. <laughs> it doesn't look as good. Yeah, it doesn't, but it's alright. It's alright. It's, right. it's, it's oh, all man, good. Oh, it's all man. good. But yeah, cheers to that. Cheers to Eraserheads. They're a phenomenal OPM band. If you guys yeah. have not heard of them, then I don't know what you're doing in the Philippines. Yeah. You guys right. sort of got mostly, mostly Beatles influences, I would say. Yeah, actually. That's I, why they, I think that's why you said that they that. sound so timeless because uh, most of their stuff, the drug Beatles. Sort of like yeah, yeah. Actually, I could super agree with that. All right. So question number nine and our second to the last question. This is going to be a tough one. Anderson Pack or John Mayer? I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a shot to that, bro. All right, concede. I'm gonna, would, I'm gonna take a shot to that. Yeah, it would be tough to answer that question as well for myself. Uh, dude, because because for me, John Mayer is um, high school. The it, it's me when I was younger, and Anderson Pack is the me now. So yeah, I I, I can't pick between the two. So I'll just dude. take a shot to that. I mean, hard same. I'm a, I'm a shot with you. This is actually the last of my soju. I could go down and get more, but we'll see about that. See, I actually have them both right here. So you got Malibu over here and uh, Battle Studies right here too. Are, are, are those vinyls? Uh, no, they're... um Perfect plug. My my cousin has like this... um You know those um Spotify plaques that have the scanner and then you ah, scan the, it. The code, the code. Yeah, the code, the code. Yeah, Sonified. So shout out to Julio Banzon. Uh, I don't know if have you heard them, any of his music? You should check it out. Yeah, yeah, no, I um I I used to be part of this music organ at the Neo, um mm-hmm. amp, and okay. Julio, dude, Julio gave a talk to us. Really? <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Funny dude, no. <laughs> I'm gonna like he 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 said he talked about a lot of things. Um, I'll, I'll tell you like off off the recording, but okay, laugh okay. Trip, laugh trip. All right, so <laughs> guess again. Let's 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 hear that later. Yeah, Sorry, yeah, yeah, Nalang, yeah. for y- y'all who can't hear this. And all right, for the last question of this Rapid Ryan's segment it is Harry Rocket or Rocket Banzon ah <laughs> uh, Rocket Banzon alright that was Rocket too easy and I'm gonna down this my boy dude my boy my boy <laughs> ah thank you um, I, I feel like I was the only right answer there. If you chose Harry Rocker, then get the fuck out of this podcast. Unsubscribe yeah, I, I, right I, I, now. I actually have a video if you if you listeners want to check it out. Um, I, I chronicled all the Harry Rocker memes so far so far <laughs> at that point. There are more now. But yeah. at, at that point, I, like, I talked about like why like the origins and like, why, why it started. <laughs> Damn, that's and pretty then, interesting. Uh, yeah, yeah, dude. Like, check it out. Watch it, watch it. Honestly, I'm, it's one of my, like, I'm proud, I'm most, you know, I'm most proud, but then I am. Yeah, one of the uh, ones I'm, you're I'm, proud about. Yeah, yeah I'm like, proud one, about one of the, yeah. Because of, of the editing then. I feel like since it's more, like, comedic, I, I, I feel like my editing skills had to um, step up. All right. Yeah, dude, I'll, I'll watch that right after this. And, yeah, I mean, I hope you guys enjoyed that segment. If you liked it, um, feel free to comment and share so that I know that to keep doing these rapid fire questions and yeah i'm sure you had a hard time with uh anderson pack versus john mayer yeah and dude, i was surprised that you picked guys. eraser heads pretty easily and i don't know man you mentioned that you know john mayer was your high school was your past life and can you believe that it's been 10 years since high school like huh? pretty much because like we went we, we were we were freshmen Whoa, 2011 like, 20, like freshman bro. yeah freshman year Dude, that's crazy nuts, I, I hadn't thought about that it's been 10 years and why do i, I still have the same mentality <laughs> <laughs> i feel like i'm just like you know, you know what bigger bro, you, hairier body but <laughs> if, if you think about it you you're you're who it's you are who you are from an early age fair enough right? yeah I mean, like, a lot of character development goes through high school. That's why I yeah, feel like yeah. it feels long, even though it's only four years. And then college goes by in a breeze because you're yeah. more comfortable at who you are. Where in high school, it's just like trying to find yourself. 
dude, I, I want to say even even grade school or even younger. Like, I feel like you know a person, like who a person is at his core already. Like his core values. Like, let's say like a kid is like always like running around and always happy and stuff. Like he's gonna bring that happy mentality everywhere, right? Yeah. That that's a good that's a great way to look at it. And yeah, I mean that's like kind of who you are in the true sense. Yeah. Because yeah. like you you're not really comparing yourself as much to other people back then. And mm-hmm. you know, no social exactly, media. Dude. Like you're just in your natural true form. And do and I think everything builds on that. Like your whole being like um revolves around who you are first. Yeah. Like, like everything and, just adds and you become this this whole person, but you're still the same person at your core. Dude, yeah, definitely. And, you know, guys like John Mayer to let out all of that testosterone, emotional imbalances was like the perfect dude to guide you through, you know, learning about life, not from your father or from cousins. (laughs) But uh, I wanted to ask you, like, how has your taste in music evolved actually throughout the years? Because mine definitely has. I mean, before when I was in high school, I actually wouldn't really listen to rap at all until my senior year. And this is because my mom used to tell me that rap is for sinners. And then, <laughs> the devil's music. <laughs> the devil's music. Eminem, mm. cut that shit out. Uh, but now it's like about 25% of the music I listen to. Right, right. So like before, you know like in high school, it your, was like... Your, your mom, because I, I mean, the, the, the music our parents listened to, like rap for them was like NWA, you know what I mean? Right? Yeah, yeah, like, fuck com- the police. Crazy motherfucker named Ice yeah, Cube. Yeah. Or, like, right? or like Eminem's yeah. like, like Slim Shady Eminem, yeah, Slim right? Shady. Like yeah, gay yeah. kids, like the, the eyeballs with the eyelids. Dude. Yeah, yeah. What the Dude. fuck? Like, like they don't think of hip hop as um like like death, but you know song Deathbed, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like so like, chill and it's yeah. rapping about like chill or, stuff. Or guys like Mac who or J. Cole yeah, that talk about yeah. life and virtues and all that stuff. Right. Yeah, it's right. evolved a lot throughout the years. Yeah. And yeah, I mean like before in high school, I used to listen to a lot of indie tunes like MGMT, uh, right, The right. Kooks, Tame Impala, the Kooks. you know, hipster vibes, cause you know uh, Arctic Monkeys, still like Arctic Monkeys, yeah, you know, you know what's up. And you know, also some EDM because I was lit back then, you know. The EDM was the it was the, honestly when EDM was the number one genre when when, when yeah when we were, we were in high school, school you know raves back. were the shit. Yes, like, but then, play like, some <laughs> Swedish house. We have like the support, support version of raves like we couldn't yeah. actually like, like super party the right? We have like yeah. mga, ma, ma clubhouse na green hills. Yeah, then, yung mga open <laughs> parties that was yeah. sober sober bar yes. lang. Yung mga yeah, like yeah. like ten percent alcohol at mm-hmm. most and mostly sugar. <laughs> Some good times. But yeah, for me now it's mostly like R and B rap and probably like disco funk and throwbacks because Dis- disco funk. Disco like, funk like, is like my vibe, like, like, like who, who, I mean, you know, funk. it it ranges everywhere from like, you know, going back to um Earth Wind and Fire ooh, and ooh, yes. you know, like yeah, but that funk is like really yeah. My, the vibe that I've been like fucking with as as of late. I feel but, you, I feel you dude. Yeah, and the only constant in my life is the Lodi. Our Lodi himself, JM. Like until now, every year he's always my top played artist. <laughs> no fail. So it's like I don't even like bother checking the Spotify rap because like more often than not it's gonna be JM. Right, right. I mean like the songs like vary um from year to year, but JM is constant. What about you, man? Like how um, do you think your taste has evolved throughout the years? Dude, my, mine like honestly, mine used to be John Mayer every year until this year. This year, really? Fran- dude, this year was Francis M. Wow! All right, dude, so like, I, I, got the the sti- I, I got the statistic that I'm I'm in his like point one two percent listeners. Wow! Dude, like that's dude. fucking crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. He should contact you. Like, yeah, yo, well, thank dude, you. Well, actually, he's he's dead, dude. So like, oh shit! Man. Yeah, yeah, he died in like two thousand nine. Was- like wow, we were like grade, that's a long grade time ago. Five when you died, yeah. How, what did you die of? Would you know? He had leukemia. Oh shit! Damn. Yeah, Man, yeah. I suck with this. Like, I always bring up like very um, <laughs> non-informed topics. Yeah. No, like, no, no. But then, I, but then, you know, do honestly, honestly, it's fine. Like, I, I didn't, I wasn't super a fan of of Francis M until last year. Um, I, I think, I think, like you, I, I was a big fan of hip hop, but need more of like '90s stuff. Yeah, so, some like, biggie. Too bad. Oh, like well, to go to NWA first. I, dude, okay. I, have you seen the film Straight Outta Compton? Of course, of course. So Bro, good. Like, Played by when Ice I watched Sun. the movie, I was like, "Shit!" I I gotta listen to all this stuff, man. So NWA, like Easy E, was like a god to me. Like I I would I would I I know all the words to 
boys in the hood. <laughs> <laughs> it was the lyrics was really like stick it to the man, talaga. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. so I got into that. I got into Tupac, and I was super like, um, super super into rap. But then I started to realize like, oh shit, I'm rapping straight out of Compton, but. Fuck, I'm, I'm not, not from, from Compton. Compton. <laughs> I'm from Katipunan, bro. Straight out of Katipunan. <laughs> well, so, so that's yeah. when you started listening to Francis M. What's your yeah, favorite like, song? No, well, 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 I was like, okay, well, what, what's... Maybe there's a... Like, no, I was like, is there a Filipino version of this? Like, why can't they talk about stuff like I like I relate with and I relate to? So I was like, oh, well, I, I know Francis M. But like, like when you think of Filipino rap, it's Francis M. Even if you don't yeah, know his songs, definitely. Like, like, Francis M. And then I, I saw a song. It's called "Man from Manila." Okay. And I heard it, and dude, it, it blew my mind. It was about how um, tayo mga pero no? mga 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 datu tayo mga mandirigma. We were never meant to be enslaved by the Spanish. It's like Damn. shit like that, dude. That very empowering. Like, yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And honestly, like my entire gym playlist, it's all Francis M. Wow. Okay, it I'm actually gonna listen to a lot more Francis M now. Like you know, you know, you know how um like when 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 African Americans when they rap, they they always like um um they're always like the black ones or blah blah blah. Yeah. Dude, like Francis M goes like the brown man, and the you're like, yes, man. bro, that's yes, me. that's me, yeah. baby. Yeah, I I have one of his um one of his one of his vinyls. Wow, yeah, sick. Here. So. Um, shout out Franz M. Damn, that's some really <laughs> sick art. Yeah, my favorite song is um very cliche, but Cold Summer Nights. <laughs> Bro, Cold Summer Nights is a fucking banger. It's a banger, dude. Yeah. Like play that stuff in the bar. I'm a go ham. Right. I'm a go ham with that. That's my go-to karaoke song, man. Oh really? Cold Summer Nights. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's it. So, so you can show off the the major singy. That was my rap that's part. My rap part. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Grave <laughs> multifaceted. I wanna touch you and kiss you. My fault. Let me call you at home. Yeah, <laughs> to impress the ladies. Yeah, dude. <laughs> but yeah, dude. Like, I actually like. I'm. I'm gonna listen to him a lot more because, especially thanks to your channel, I feel like you know we really need to learn more about the Philippine culture because at least us, for us, um, private school students, we're very Western influenced. Yeah. So yeah. a lot of our um pop culture and social cues come from you know Western societies. But you know, I feel like as a nation we have a lot to offer and uh, you know even though we are western influence we got a little bit of ma- malay in us as well and it's yeah, a great mix yeah. we got some is a- a- I, I, the way i like to think about it is like we're kind of like the asian mexicans you know have you ever yeah. met a mexican dude i have not but you know joe always very said that similar. also yeah we're, no, we're the exactly. mexicans of asia yeah. <laughs> yeah and we kind of look alike too it was crazy because i was in la like two years ago and I was going up to a booth, and then the, the lady just starts talking to me in straight up like Spanish, and I was yeah. like, "Oh, sorry, Pablo, English, Pablo, please." Espanol. Yeah, but you know, I was in a party also with uh, my cousin who was living there at the time, and out of everyone, like all the whites, all the Asians, everyone in there, the Mexicans were really the ones I jived with the most. They were like, you know, we have the same humor. It's like kind of slapstick, yeah, gago, dude. but then they're so warm and welcoming. And dude, and it's so obvious that we were fucked over by the same two countries. Hell right? yeah, man! America and Spain. Yeah, they, they fucked us over. But you know, it also made us like the loving, caring, you know, family-oriented people yeah. that we are. Yeah. Na kinda shady also. <laughs> but That's then, true. you know, you know, you 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 love who we are, and we have a lot of potential. Which leads me to the very last question question of this podcast, which is. Since you have the Ryan Rambles, which is mainly about Philippine uh, pop culture and um, society, and you know this podcast is also based on Philippine pop culture and society, why do you think that people should be more informed about the PH culture? Um, you know, th- that's a great question. I feel like if you, if you think about it, um, e- e- wait, let's. So about it for yourself first, for yourself, and then and then for everyone, right? Okay, yeah. So for yourself first, it's it's just, I well, I think it's so much better to to listen to stuff and to watch stuff that that talks about stuff that you're going through, right? Yeah. Like like let's say let's say fangirl. We talk mm-hmm. about fangirl. You know, you're watching the movie, and then and then you you're you're he's driving through like and Lex the va through Edsa, and you see you see stuff that you, that you drive by, and and and, and you feel like. Like uh, you, you can connect to it. And about com- compared to Hollywood, um, like they drive, 
the drive by stuff and they see the Hollywood sign, like, yeah, yeah like Sunset you've been Boulevard, there, all of that stuff, yeah, yeah, like you've been there, but you don't, don't go there every day, that's not part of your life. That's true, it, it, it just feels so good to, 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 to look at stuff that talks about your life and it's in the music, also. To my friend's M talks about the, 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 the Pinoy experiences, and let's like say, like, a more modern artist, like Ben and Ben, mm-hmm. you might love songs, sila. they always talk about, about stuff that. And it's always in Tagalog, the right? mm-hmm. Tagalog songs that really that, that, that really capture um what it feels like to be in love. I think like I can relate to that more than more than any English song. Yeah, because yeah. like so, also the, the Tagalog words for love are like Yeah. There's, sometimes there's no definition for it. Like killing. Like you could mm-hmm. say it's like Twitter what, what's the, what's the other word? Twitter Twitter patted. See, Twitter Ms. Patted. Magnaye taught us that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I remember. <laughs> right? But it Shout doesn't quite it doesn't quite encapsulate yeah. the same it's, it's thing. It's not it, dude. Yeah. That's yeah, not it. And yeah, I feel like, you know, you really should be listening to a lot more because it's definitely so much more relatable. And yeah. you know, like as much as I like to listen to American podcasts and stuff, I've been listening to a lot more Filipino podcasts because, you know, Everything that they're saying is actually a lot more relatable. You see it on yeah. a day-to-day basis, yes, yes. despite just being at home. You know, it's more relatable overall. So I completely agree with everything that you said. And yeah, wait, no, no, that, that was the for, for yourself, diba? Right? Yeah, for and yourself. And then, like, to go to our last point, lang for 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 other people, when, when okay. you buy more um, Filipino products, when you watch Filipino media, you support our our economy bro no, like, yeah, that's right? true. the Big only picture. way like like movies are gonna get better and movies are gonna get better and to, to, to maybe compete with like with hollywood stuff and now i think korean stuff is really strong right yeah, the only strong. way to, to, the, but to get to that level and, and to compete with those things is to keep buying our own shit and and then if, if we can make it good then other people will buy it shit will buy our shit Dude, right? yeah, that's so true. And you know, K-pop is like super strong in this country it, it now, is and it's super strong. Yeah, and it's just always like you know other nations. But we should prioritize on our own stuff because if you really like make the time to research on it and give it a chance and like consume some of the media or content that they put out, it's actually very good. And yeah, you know, we have a lot of potential as a nation. And I think for anyone who's listening right here, you should either one. Listen to Francis M's stuff. Two, yes, yes. watch Fangirl. Or three, watch was it Auto Plata Mata? Yeah. Yeah. So, or or do do all of the above. I feel like that that's the best. All of the above. You know, you hear it from Mr. Ryan Rosella himself. All right. So I guess with that, I just wanna wrap up the show by saying thank you so much for being on the show, brother. Um of honestly course, had right? so Honestly, I had so much fun talking hey. with you and catching up as well. It's been it's been a minute. It's definitely been yeah, a minute. dude. It's been I, I usually see you every year, dude. Yeah. But then this year, well, obviously because of COVID and shit, we didn't get to see each other. Yeah. Well, I think we saw each other like around Feb or Jan last like Did 2020 we? with Sylvic we? and Habana. The bar we went to 2020. When we we watched then, basically Saturday night. Yeah, basically Saturday night. Was that, was that Feb? I think that was 2020, but you know, was not that, entirely was, no, sure. dude. I, I think I think that that was before our Christmas. Um, oh our last yes, Christmas. yes, yeah, yes, dude. yes, yeah. Well, before dude. that, yeah. Time, time, time is just a concept now. <laughs> All right, but yeah, honestly, had so much fun talking with you and learning a lot about Philippine culture as well. And I guess before we go, I think now would be a perfect time for you to plug in where people can find you or the work that you do. Yes. Um, if if you want to know, know more about me, mostly you can check me out on Facebook. That's facebook.com slash Ryan Rambles. Honestly, dude, I think more than anything, Facebook is 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 where I'm at. Like, um, I'm I'm way closer to monetizing on Facebook compared to YouTube. Wow. Okay. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, like I I I, uh, I didn't have to talk about it, Kanina, but I, I have one video that did really well. But it's like, the, like the comments. The comments are so bad. Like, oh, the, really? I, I I have so many haters. They're roasting but, on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But like, it, it got me to a place where it, it boosted my likes. So um and my follows. So so I'm I'm close to get monetizing. But yeah, that, that's where I I update the most. But I'm on Instagram at underscore Ryan Rosella. And of course, you can you can watch my videos, my full videos on YouTube, Ryan Rosella also. Yeah. Awesome. All right. So you've heard it from the man, Ryan Rambles himself. And I hope you guys enjoyed the very first episode of this 2021 year. Yes. Um, yes. If you enjoyed, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and share this podcast on all of my platforms. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, um, not on Twitter, uh, YouTube, and you know where <laughs> to find it. So, all right. So thank you so much again for being on the show. And I'll see y'all very soon. Deuces.
Peace.